At this workshop in northern Iraq, Kurdish artist Hoshmand Muwaffaq is recreating one of the oldest games in the Middle East. Originated nearly 5,000 years ago in what would later become Iraq, the royal game of Ur mysteriously died out until Hoshmand revived it by making his own decorated wooden board. It's, it's a nice feeling when you recreate and rebuild a game which is not playing by people anymore and we, you try to show your generation and your people that we owned it before and now no one knows about that and no one has, has any information about that so you introduce the board again to that people. The first board with its pieces and dice was rediscovered in 1922 during archaeological excavations at the ancient Sumerian city of Ur. And to revive the game's popularity, British archaeologist Ashley Barlow asked Hushman to recreate the board based on the dimensions and design of the original. The board predates backgammon, a similar and extremely popular game now played across the region. But despite its simple rules, it makes for fierce competition. Essentially a race to get your seven pieces uh, through uh, to the end before the other person knocks you off. Superstitious players in ancient Mesopotamia thought that the outcome of each royal game was directed by the gods, while others played for money or alcohol. But it has largely been forgotten by modern-day Iraqis. For Barlow and his team of volunteers, the game is a chance to travel through time and live like the ancients. Today, they are introducing it to local players in this park. I would definitely play if there was someone to play the game with, like the Mesopotamians did. I don't have that much to do, so I'd play that game anywhere, and it's fun to play. It's 5,000 years old, but to us, it's brand new. After bringing the game back to life in northern Iraq, Barlow and his team now plan to spread it to Baghdad and Mosul, in hope it will help Iraqis bond over an ancient past.